Hi, how you doing? Okay, guys. Last class we saw until page, if I'm not wrong, page, let me tell you. Let me tell you, wait. Okay, today we're going to complete the pronouns part and the modifiers. We're, we're going to introduce to the new unit, which is unit five. All right. So last class we stop here, right? Last class we stop here. All right. Let's see. Okay, let's continue. We stop until, if I'm not wrong, it was the other one, I guess. It was this one. Yes, it was this one. All right. So we need to complete this one. We stop on the exercise five, I guess. No, 11, number 11, okay? So let's complete. So we see this, right? Until number 11. All right. So Edgar, in this case, Edgar is, we need to see, we are reviewing about the agreement, the spelling, words, and the, co and the coherence, right? Let's see. Edgar, what is the correct verb in that case? Deal. Deal, right? Exactly. Edgar did is the correct verb, verb as well in his position as any of the other fielders. Okay. Number 12, toward the end of their first game, but said tarp it. What? Is. Is? Yes. Is. Tap it is. Time to send Edgar in. Exactly. That is the correct way of the verb to be. It is, right? Number 13, tarp what? Mister. Yes? Esta página no ya la hicimos. Yes, but no, no terminamos. We are Pero continuing. Los, llegamos hasta la mitad. Exactly. We, we stop up to, up to the meeting, up to the, the middle, sorry, the middle of the page. And then, and then we need to continue with, to the rest. Okay, but no problem. We want to continue. Good observation, Sofia. Okay, 13. What is the correct? Tarp, boat, or wrong? Broad. Yes, it's broad. Please turn up your microphones. Be careful with the interprets. Edgar out the field. Okay, Mr. Bailey's, in this case. Heat. Aha. Heat. Is that correct? Yes. It's not possible. Hit it, right? It doesn't exist. The ball for the winning round. Okay. And the last one, Edgar raised what? Catcher. Catch? All right. Let's see. Are you sure? Yeah. Catch or cut? It's irregular. This verb is irregular. Be careful. Oh. Yes, it's cut. In this case, it's like this. Cut is the pronunciation. Cut, cutting, cut, cut it in what? In his, his. or his? Apostrophe his. or no apostrophe? Without apostrophe. Uh, without, yes. Good, Florence. Without apostrophe. Tip to save the game. Exactly. So it was funny. Let's see. So we, uh, we have completed this. We need to hurry up with the next page. Okay, in this case, we need to underline each verb two times and each subject one time. So let me give you an example. For example, we need to classify is the, with letter C, if the sentence is compound. Compound, remember, compound, it talks about when appears, when it appears one subject and the other subject. Remember that. Or two verbs, yes, Dimitri, that's right. For example, we have this one. Believe in this case is a verb. So here it appears in parentheses because it's a, uh, the, the, the subject is hiding. El sujeto está escondido, right? It's hiding. So in this case, believe in the, in the, on the Lord Jesus Christ 
and those shall be saved. So the verbs you need to underline twice, two times, right? Underline the verbs. And in where the letter C. Okay, yes. And the letter C is compound. Exactly. Two verbs in this case, because there are two verbs. Good. Number two. I knock several times, but nobody answered the door. It's compound or no compound? Compound. Compound. The two verbs are knocked and answered. Amazing. Is that? Yeah, is that, that is I. correct. Knock. The subject I, the verb knock, and the other subject nobody. Okay, and the sentence, yes, of course, is compound. Exactly. Number three. Let's see. Hurry up. There are apples and oranges. Um, in the refrigerator. Apples and orange. Uh huh. And. And what? Apples and oranges are the subject. Exactly. There, so, there or are could be the verb. Okay, let's check it out. Yes, are is a verb, apples, the, the subject, and oranges, another subject. In write the letter S, and the letter is S, is simple sentence. This is a simple sentence. No lleva más de dos sujetos. It's simple in this case. I mean, it's simple. Yes, it's simple. So, number four. In the pond swam, graceful swam. In this case, it's talking about an animal. The cisne, swam. The so, subject is pond, the verb is swam. Yes, let's check it out. In the pond swam, the verb, the graceful swam is the animal in this case. So is sub, sub is compound or sub, uh, or simple? Simple. Let's check it out. Yes, it's correct. Number five. Number five says Cindy wrote a poem and the teacher what read it to the class in this case in simple past. Um, and underline D. Okay. Um, underline the town's growth. Let's check um, it out. And what? And the verb. Cindy, and teacher, subject. and read. Yes. And the verb read, read in this case, in simple past, simple past, the pronunciation changes. Cambia ahí. Ready. And write a C in the space. Is that, that is correct. Okay. Let's see, number six. Thank you, Florence. Good, good job. Will you and Jerry go to the store for me? Um, so, under like one time, you, one time, you, one time Jerry, two time and in this space, okay. I okay, let's oh, check it yes. out. Will you and Jerry go to the store for me? Yes, yes. that is correct. And, and uh, is S. Yes, correct. Okay, let's go quickly. Let's check it out. Number seven is Jenny finished the dishes and cleaned the sink. So we have time, here. Time. Jenny what? is Jenny. The dishes are time. subject finished and cleaned are verb. Yes, well done. Jenny subject finished the verb and then cleaned the, the verb, another verb. So okay. it's simple. Yeah. Simple. Let's check it out. Very good. Number eight. Uh, I just can believe my eyes. I is the subject. Believe is the verb. Uh huh. It's is correct. Is I can believe is the verb. Are the verbs? I can believe. In this case, is simple. Yes, it's simple sentence. Simple sentence. Number nine. The view of the woods was suddenly obstructed. View is the subject, obstructed is the verb. Yes, the view is the subject and was the verb. We need, we have two verbs here, was and obstructed. So, it's see. simple. It's simple, yes, correct. Okay, number 10. The Christians prayed. 
earnestly. Underline uh, earnestly. one time Christians, two times pray, and one time super, and two times wow. Okay, let's check it out. Let's see. Yes, Christians prayed, Peter, and was released. Is the, the subject and verbs. And put a C in the space. Uh -huh. Exactly. Well done. Okay, amazing. Let's continue. Okay, here we need to hurry up. So we need to underline the subjects one time. Write an S if in the blank if the subject should have a singular verb. Okay. Most of you finish this part, but let's check it out. Number one would be like this. He doesn't is the correct in, the, in this case. So is, plural. what do we need to write here? Plural. Plural, are you sure? Singular. Singular. Aha, uh -huh. singular. Yes, he's talking about third person. Yes, number two. The boys weren't or wasn't? Weren't. Weren't, yes, it's simple past. And S or C, uh, plural. Plural. Singular plural. Or plural? Plural. Plural, yes, number three. Wait, I think I got it all reversed. And underlined by. I got it all reversed. Be careful with the verbs, yes. No, it's a plural instead of singular for each one with that. Ah, that. okay, yes. Was in that case is singular and were in, remember is plural. Let's see number three. Some some of you answer. Are is that correct? Uh, are you? Yeah. Are you? And Morgan, so underline you and Morgan, please. Singular or pr or plural? Plural. Is plural. Plural. Let's check. Yes, it's correct. Number four. It does or it do? Do. Sure. Do. Does. It does. Does. Is third person. Does. Yes. Parece que dice ahí. It does seem warmer. Is... Singular yeah. or plural? Singular. 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 Yes. Is tercera persona. Recuerden. Is is talking about it. Number five. Sarah, Sarah, has or have? Has, 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 has. yes. And underline Sarah, and, and it's singular. singular. It's singular, correct. Well done, Rebecca, yes, good job. Number six, isn't or aren't? Isn't it a beautiful morning? Isn't, isn't it, yes. Isn't it? Underline it, underline it, please. please. Singular or plural? Singular. Let's check it out. Yes, it's, it's singular. Number seven, hurry up. Children and adults, adults often take or take us. Takes, I'm sorry, takes. Take, take, takes. Take, take. Be careful. Let's and let's underline see. children's and adults. Exactly. And it's plural. Let's see. Yes, it's plural in this case. Number eight. Okay, hurry up. She is miles or she is mile. She is miles. Miles with S. With S. With S. With S. Exactly. With S. Is third person. Singular or plural? Yes. It's um, singular. 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 Yes. Number nine. You are the winner or you is? You, you are. are. You are. You are. You are in underline you. Exactly. Singular or plural? Singular. singular. It's plural in this case. Remember, you, I know, you is singular in this case and so, sometimes, but in this case, it's talking about uncountable people. So, I mean, many people, many people. Mr. Um, so I did get it all reversed. I thought the singulars were plural. Yes, no, be not. careful. In this case, you is always considered as plural. Always. Most of times. Most of times. 
All right, I number, think number the 10. Singular, though. Yes, I thought the same at the beginning. Let's see, Leslie and Mark are the subjects that correct is haven't. So is plural or singular? It's plural. Plural. Plural, yes. Thank you, Evora, again. Number 11. Let's see. Number 11, David looks. Aha, uh -huh. let's check it out. Looks. Looks, plural or singular? Singular and underline David. Yes, singular in this case. He's talking about him. Uh, number 12, every Sunday. Every Sunday day, sit. 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 Yes. It's plural. Ah, they sit in that case. I mean, they and sit. And underline they. Exactly. Singular or plural? Plural. Plural, okay. Number 13. Have, 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 have the subject is probably with you, and then it is uh, singular. Let's check it out. Have and underline you, remember. So it's plural in this case, remember. Have you seen my language book? Mr. I don't get it, how is it? To, how is it plural? <laughs> okay, yes. Sometimes it's kind of confusing, but keep in mind that you will be plural, always plural in this case. Sometimes it's kind of difficult to understand it, but just continue. 14 is this, aren't, remember? And the uh, subject- you. Plural. Yes, underline you and the verb, I'm oh, sorry, in the singular is or plural? Plural. Plural. Plural, yes, and the uh, number 15. My brother and my sister often takes us to the zoo. Exactly. Underline so, brother and sister and is plural. Excellent, Florence. Well done. And is plural. Okay. So thank you so much. We almost finished this part to continue with the introduction. Okay. Number 16 will be like this. I'm going to give you a hand. Have, Have you? you? Plural. Plural. No, it's, in, it's, it's plural. 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 Remember. Let me take a look at my book. Yes, 17. Number I 17. Right. I was right. I was right. Or, or cat, cat likes. Aha, uh -huh. yes. With S plural, on the ring. plural or singular? Plural. Singular. Singular. Is one cat. Is one cat. Remember, it's talking about only one cat. Number 18. I always do my homework right after school. Let's check it out. Good. Underline my, no, I, I and do and singular. is singular. Do, exactly. And is singular. Yes. Number 19. Hurry up. It says, Paul and Silas, Silas, I don't know, I don't remember. What? Was, were, 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 Paul and Silas were, were, were the subjects. Where in underline Paul and Silas and plural. Plural. Exactly. Two people, two people in this case. Okay, very good. Number 20. My father, my father paints. paints. Uh-huh. Paints. Paints. Third person. Tercera persona. Third person. Father. He remember. Any singular or plural? Singular. Singular. Remember. Yes. Number 21. This and student enjoys singing. Does enjoy. this student enjoy or enjoys? Enjoy. Enjoy. Uh-uh, enjoy. enjoy. It's plural, remember, it's students. Plural. It's plural. So in this case, it's plural. Underline the students and this plural. Yes. Mm -hmm. Number 22. You, you are, are the fastest runner in uh, the class. Yes. Uh, underline you and is singular. Sure. 
No, plural. 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 It's plural. Okay, okay. Almost done. 23. The tall boy and he are. Are, yes. Are brothers. Are brothers, yes. Plural, Underline singular. Underline boy and he and is plural. And he's plural. Excellent. Plural. It's plural, yes. 24. The question is the subject. Witnesses yes. is the... Witnesses is it and the singular. Witnesses, yes, is the verb. Witnesses. In this case, we need to add a ES. In plural or singular? Singular. Yes, correct. It's singular. And the last one. Often Jessica and I. Jessica and I. On the subject, visit is the verb. It's busy, it's plural. yes. 25. It's plural. Okay, guys. Hey, amazing. Good job. Thank you for helping me. Okay, let's get let's get let's get into the topic, to the real topic for today's class. Okay. Welcome to unit five. What is that about, mister? Well, actually, it's about modifiers. Let me explain to you. A modifier, in this case, we refer to adjectives. Remember, adjectives, they can be used to describe or modify something, a noun, a person, an animal, an object, etc. So you can use it in many ways. For example, this is the, the fourth, the number fourth in the part of the speech. Okay, let's see. An adjective, it's a word that modifies or describes, right? A noun or pronoun. It answers the questions, which one, what kind, how many, how much, or whose. So we need to keep in mind this. The adjectives modify, always modify a noun or a pronoun. For example, here we have number one. The first answer. So in this case, tenemos que preguntar a, a, an adjective question. Which one? Which answer? Number one, number two, or three? In this case, a specific first answer. Number one. Number two, the square box. You know, a square box is like this, right? It's like this. So in this case, is what kind of? What kind of is the correct question? Ten dollars. In this case, is in this case is countable. So the correct word is in this case how many dollars? How many dollars do you need? Ah, I need ten dollars. In this case, let's go to the right side. Este lado, great riches. Is incountable or not countable? The correct word or the correct question will be how much? How much is for not countable nouns? And uh, the last one, the dog's bone. This refers that the dog has something. In this case, is the bone, remember? Something it's that who's? they are chewing. And it's, it's whose? The quien, right? Whose in Spanish is the quien, in this case. So let's get into the topic because we, need, we have time. We need okay. to save time. Let's get into the practice. Okay, the instruction says, underline the adjectives in each group of words. For example, here we have another instruction. Number two, in the blank, write the question which the adjective answers. For example, let me check it out. Frisky puppies um, mm -hmm. is Number one. Who? Who's yes. the first one which one? Frisky puppy. Frisky puppy is playful, playful. It's como juguetón, right? Frisky puppy. Who's which one? Exactly, the number one. And uh, in the blank space. And underline frisky. I have to be right. Yes, underline frisky. Frisky is the adjective. And the question will be what kind of? What kind, sorry, what kind in this case? Number Mister, two. No yes. tendría que ser who's. No, because in this case, they, uh -huh. they are modifying frisky. Frisky is Juguetón, esa, esa palabra, ese como adjetivo, right? It's frisky, playful in this case. ¿Qué tipo? Okay. What kind of puppy in this case? Frisky uh, puppy. Ajá. Um, the second. Number two. Two envelopes. 
two envelopes. How many? Two how underline, many? underline two. Two and two? write how many? Hey, amazing. Okay, how many? Yes. Number three. What is the correct? Underline what? Mm, um, nephew or his? His. His. His, in this case, Mr. But his is a possessive, yes. But we are going it to find something. It's an adjective, in this case, because, because it comes before the noun. Cuando va antes del noun, it's an adjective. Be careful. Cuidado con ello, okay? And so, his, his, his nephew who's, and whose. Yes, amazing. Who's. Number four, guys, correct. Uh, what is that? That box. Underline that. that. Yes. And his. And his which one? Exactly. Underline that. And the question is which one? Which hey. one? Correct. Hey, you are. We are one. We are of one mind. Number five. Let's see. Little, little progress. Little progress. Okay. Progress. What is that? What kind? E mm -hmm. Underline little and is and what, is kind? what kind? Correct. Little, underline. And, and write what kind? Uh, what kind? Little is something not countable. The opposite of how many is how? How, how much? much? How much, yes. Is how much. Oh. Yes, little is something not countable. No podemos contar con little. Is something not countable. Okay, number six, yellow stripe. So, yellow is the yellow. adjective. Yes. And, and the question, we have two options. First one, we can write what kind of, what kind, sorry, what kind, and? What kind or? Or which, which one? one. Which yes, one. which one. Okay, please write on your books. Number seven, Nathan's bicycle. Okay, so in this case, we need to we underline. We are going to underline Nathan's and his. And his. Who's, 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 okay, let's check it out. Yes, Nathan's, because with apostrophe, right? Yes. Yeah. And the question who's, will be, who's, correct. Who's. De quien, la bicicleta de quien, right? Whose bicycle who's. in this case? And the oh, last one. The last one. Mystery. Mystery. Uh -huh. mystery, is mystery. Kind, Underline what mystery. Kind. And is what kind? What kind? What Amazing. Kind. It's what kind. what kind. Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. We are, we are one, one mind. Okay. Wow. We, need, we have 10 minutes. I need to erase this. The time is running. Let me check it out. Okay, okay. So in this case, we need to write some adjectives. Please, I need your help to complete this as soon as possible. So I'm going to give you a hand. Uh, Dimitri, can you help me with uh, your dad's car, yes. please? What yes. adjective can you use it for, for it? Mm, well, we could do it by the size, the color. Mm -hmm, but what kind of adjective? Write three adjectives to modify in this case. Mm -hmm. Long. Okay, good. Long. What what else? Red. Red. Please, sir, I can do the third. Yes, the third one. Yes. Okay. Give me a moment. And mm -hmm. another one, Dimitri. Old. Old, yes, definitely. Okay, let me fix it. Yes, we're done. We can use long, red, color red, and old, right? Like ancient. Uh, Florence. Eh, kind of, a little bit similar. A puppy. A puppy, okay. Um, An adjective, Florence, please. Is color brown. Okay, brown in this case. A color, what else? Um, is small. Is small? Or okay, it can be. We can use the same one, the, the, the same that, that we saw at the big uh two minutes ago that we saw frisky, right? 
Frisky, yeah. Playful. Yes, frisky. Or playful, yes. We can use playful. Like this. You can use both of them, no problem. Frisky, frisky or playful. Okay. Who can help me for your classroom? Who can give me more examples about adjectives, please? ¿Cómo se dice ruidoso en inglés, mister? Noisy. Noisy, yes. Excellent, thank you. Noisy. Thank you. One, one more. Colorful. Colorful. Another Big. one. Big, yes. It's correct. Colorful. Exactly, we're done. Four. Uh, a storm. Mm -hmm. Remember. Powerful. Power loud. Powerful. What? Loud. Loud. Okay. What else? Big. It's possible. Big storm. Okay. What? No problem. A friend to refer a friend. Let's see. What do we um, have here? Friendly? Uh, yes, but in this case, <laughs> let's say talkative. Right? Talkative. What else? Um, Is he going, for example? Yeah, ugly. It, is he going? Okay. In that case, it's negative. Ugly. It doesn't matter. So you can copy these ones, okay? Okay, we have five minutes, guys. We need to hurry up, I guess. We have five minutes left. Six minutes in, in, in a half. Finish. Finish, okay, let's continue. We I finished. We need to save the time. We need to go fast, yes. quickly, as soon as... as soon as we can. Okay, guys, second practice. In this case, page 86. Remember, we are going to finish on page 87 if we can. So in this case, change each of these proper nouns. Okay, the proper nouns. So the proper nouns are this, Japan, Holy, Rome, you, Italy, and Jack. So I'm going to give you an example to illustrate, right? The first one will be Japanese. We need to use the nationality. Remember, Japanese oh, people, Japanese people. Japanese, in this case, is a proper, proper adjective. It's modifying people. Number two, who can help me? Holy. Hollis? Hollis, but in this case. Holiday. No, no, it's different, it's different. That is no, a noun. Very funny, no, say that again. It's close, Dimitri was close. But in this case, Hollis is with apostrophe. Hollis is describing Hollis what? Hollis temple, for example. Hollis house. I don't know. It depends, right? Three. Rome. The Roman. Ah, okay. Roman. Yes, Roman people. Roman dog. In that case, Roman, etc. Right? And you. In this case. Jewish. Jewish. Yes. Jewish. You. Is the nationality describing people, Jewish people? Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. Italy? Italian. 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 Italian people. Italian people, correct. And number four, number six, Jack. It's Jack. like this, like Hollies. It's similar. Jack. Jacks. Jacks. Jack. Apostrophe. Yes, it's that it's like that. When you use the apostrophe, you are modifying, you are describing yeah. something, remember? Mister, what does it mean when you use like a when you use an apostrophe if you use that? In this case, you are describing, you are modifying, Dimitri. Keep in mind that, uh. that the name of the unit is modifiers. That's why. Yeah. Good. Good question. Okay, I think we are going to finish on this page. In the last page of yes. Okay, underline the yeah. adjectives in the following sentences sentences you should find two in each sentence for example for example uh save not save vans savannas savannas sorry savannas thank you Dimitri. savannas in this case will be the proper adjective remember 
the proper adjective, circo, please, please, circo, the proper adjective, savannas, puppies, love, dog. In this case, dog is the noun. So that is the difference. Savannas, it's a noun, yes, but it's an adjective because you are using an apostrophe in this case, modifying, remember, you are modifying. And the dog, in this case, is the original noun. Ese es el sustantivo, is the noun. Let's continue. We almost finished, two minutes. Number two, who can help me? Jesse mm -hmm. ate two eggs for breakfast and one sandwich for lunch. What is the proper noun? Or, or what is the adjective here? Jesse. The numbers? Oh, the adjective. The adjective, yes, the adjectives. Okay, I know. We can, okay, no problem. We can, we can modify something or a noun with numbers. For example, the number two. Jesse ate two what? Two eggs. For breakfast, in this case, two is the adjective. The number two, and one sandwich. Remember, you are describing how, uh, how many, yes? How many is the question, remember, at the beginning of the class? How many sandwiches, how many eggs do you eat for breakfast, in this case? Number three, no news or news can be good news. Good, good is the adjective. Good is the adjective. Yes, and what else? Um, don't know. Okay, no? let's, let's check it out. Exactly, no. No is the adjective. It's nothing, right? Nothing. And good is the adjective. Good job. Exactly. Number four. Do you like core muffins? Muffins with a strawberry jam? Jam? What yeah, is the adjective? Corn and strawberry? The strawberry, yes. To tell what kind? Exactly. It's what kind? What kind of muffins? Core muffins, chocolate muffins. Okay, we're going to stop here. And the number five, what is the number five? Asian is the adjective. Asian is the adjective. Lauren, too. Lawrence, Lawrence in that case. Yes, pictures of Asian is the adjective, the proper adjective. Uh, adjective in Lawrence. Okay, guys. So what you have to do is send me the pictures up to page 86 about this part, please. So we're going to stop here because of time. All right. Next class, we're going to continue. Thank you, you so just, much for your, for your help. We just sent page 60, 86. Yes, 86. On to the exercise number five. Thank you so much. Hey, don't forget to send me the pictures. Okay.